Charlie's home base is his couch, and so it's a, a world in a small world. But it was a, a set that astonishingly could be shot to give a whole emotional reality. Charlie's man of letters, and the walls are lined with his books, and each book was curated to be definitely something that Charlie would have read or would have taught or owned. Darren doesn't miss anything. And I think, especially with a movie like this, which is so contained, that detail is so necessary. One of the things that attracted me to it was how confined it was, because I believe that when you have restrictions and you have boundaries, that's where you can start to stylize things and make things your own. So this was really an exercise, reducing everything to the real basic form of cinema, which is performance, light, and camera, to make it all about drama and figuring out how to move the actors around the room and then figuring out how the camera could sort of dance with them. You have one character who barely moves, so how to make that interesting? And kind of the big breakthrough that my designers came up with was not putting a couch against a wall. I mean, how often do you walk into a small apartment and see a couch in the middle of the room and it feels natural? And that allowed us to do just a lot of work with the blocking. Charlie lives alone in a two bedroom apartment somewhere in Idaho. He's a, an English teacher who instructs students online using a webcam and he likes to keep it turned off, not wanting to distract them by how they might judge him for how he appears. His emotional world is, for all of that sadness that he carries, is an intensely optimistic one at the same time because he sees in his students their capacity to be the best that they can. Charlie can see the good in others, but he can't see it in himself, sadly. It was just so evident from the first moment that Brendan knew exactly who this guy was. If an actor approached this role with any amount of, of cynicism or frustration, it would really not work. And Brendan, from the moment one, had that bright light, uh, that humanity and that faith. Even in the darkest moments, you still see the, the big-hearted human being at the center of it. Charlie is the most emotionally demanding character I've, I've ever seen on paper. Um, play him, I knew would take everything I've got. That was very clear the first time we met that he wanted a challenge. And to me, that's one of the most exciting things. The author was just trying to save us from his own sad story. 